My wife's always the one that untangles the lights at Christmas time. I'm surprised to see that it's metal. Oh, uh, bike's not included. We spend all of our days surrounded by really fun, fancy bike equipment. And it's easy to lose track of the fact that this stuff costs a lot of money. But we decided to switch things up a little bit and we found a trainer at Aldi for $28. So, easy to set up, sturdy construction. We'll see about that. What's a little interesting is how much flex there is in the trainer stand. You can watch this move as I push the lever. I'm having trouble finding a good place for this. So, stuff my computer back in place and I think we're just gonna leave it like that. All right, so starting off on this trainer. First thing I'm noticing is the resistance is a little inconsistent. You could probably almost hear the changing sound of the roller with every pedal stroke. It's fairly common with, with friction trainers, the first couple of minutes the roller and the tire has to heat up. So that's not concerning at all. And like, honestly, this is, this feels pretty all right. I'm just gonna crank it up a little bit and see how it performs. So now we're at about 310, 320. So far, so good. Let's keep going, see what happens. So the bike is starting to move a little bit underneath me. It's still holding up. Probably better than I am. So we surpassed the speed, surpassed the wattage. It didn't break. So the next logical step is to try Zwift. So we have this $48 speed sensor to put onto my back wheel. Let's see how this works. And if it does, then for $68, you can be riding Zwift. Just pop that onto the rear hub. Now we have the Zwift app opened up and I'm gonna tap speed sensor to pair. Let's go. This is gonna send us to New York and see what happens. So my avatar is moving, but what you can see looking at the phone screen versus my computer is that the watts aren't even close to accurate. Speed is also a little bit low. It's reading 10 miles an hour on the Zwift app. My computer is reading 20 Ks an hour or about 12 miles an hour. So we're actually not that terribly far off right now. Speed doesn't really seem to be connected to reality in terms of what you're doing on the bike, but we're moving along on Zwift. This will work. It's not gonna be accurate. If you're chasing KOMs on Zwift, this isn't your jam. But if you just wanna get in there and ride, get in on the action, this will do it. $68. Trainer's still kicking, so let's see what it can do on a full gas sprint. our question pretty quick but felt like we tapped out the resistance so I'm gonna max out this dial and see if anything different happens Pretty clear if you're a high octane sprinter, this isn't a trainer for you. Despite my initial hesitations, I have to say it really surpassed our expectations. For a $28 trainer, it held up to steady power, it held up to some sprints. Um, we took it over its max stated power of 585 watts. The resistance did fade out a little bit over that, but $28, we're not looking for too much right there. Um, did some efforts on it, rode it a little bit. Um, magnetic resistance, it was it was holding up. I for twenty eight dollars, it's hard to beat.